Hey everybody out there at the CW Source, Jason C on the set of One Tree Hill again with Paul Johansson. How you Hi. doing, my friend? Good, good to meet you. It's How good are to you? meet you too. You weren't afraid to meet me? I wasn't afraid to meet you. You didn't hear the rumors? Of? You know what, I'm sick of this interview. Already. Already? I'm done with it. Let me ask you a question <laughs> first, <laughs> okay. I've heard that Dan's supposed to be like the antagonist in all evil and right. stuff, but you know, it's four years later. Has he become reformed at all? Is he, you know, uh, is he less evil? You know, I don't think that the, I don't think you can answer the question. Is he more or less evil? But you can. But you can ask this question: Is Dan Scott still have his power and influence? Like you know, he's the Geppetto to the puppets. Mm -hmm. Can he still control their lives when he comes back after being gone so long? Mm -hmm. Does he still have power? And yes. Oh yeah. That is an awesome he's question. He's got power. He's got a lot of power. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did jail change it? Um, well, I think that uh, you know, f this, the, you know, here's what happens. You know. I can't give you the details of how he gets out of jail, and I can't give you the details of why he gets out of jail. Okay. But I will tell you this, but he does it's not jail. without great purpose. Okay. When he gets out, the, you think that everything is going normal, things are falling into place, but you know, Dan has a relevance on this show, otherwise you know, they wouldn't have you know, they would have brought me back for the fifth season. Did he get, off for, <laughs> um, get out for good behavior? Time off for good behavior? And um, the, yeah, okay, yes, 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 he did. He got up, he got up, yeah, he, would you like me to ask you some questions? <laughs> you're, you're next. Okay, yeah, he got up for good behavior, but he also got up because of some technicalities. I mean, because it's been, we jump ahead in the show, as you know, right, right, right. from the fourth yeah. to the fifth. The legal season. system can be kind of loophole -y. Well, we all know that, and you know, I think he got OJ's lawyers to come back okay. and help him out with this one. <laughs> that was good, good choice in his one. <laughs> yeah. Good move for him. He's got a lot of money from the car dealership. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, did, you, did you see a change from season one to season four? Have you seen it in Dan? Has uh, he changed yes. so he much? He does have redeeming moments. He um, is certainly a likable character. And you don't want to like him because he's sometimes so manipulative, as you said. Or right. What did you say? Well, uh, yeah, he's, he's Geppetto. Geppetto. Yeah, Geppetto. but the most interesting characters that you see on, on most shows, don't you think, are, are the ones that have... Uh, you know, the mixture, you know, you can't, there's no such thing as pure evil, there's mm -hmm. no such thing as pure good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think well, do you prefer to play good or bad? Because you do have redeeming moments, as I said, you do, you, you know, you sometimes are supportive. Well, I mean, personally, I'm a lot more evil than Dan in my personal life. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I, I can see yeah, that. I have a magnifying glass and an ant farm, if that helps you with any <laughs> images. No, I mean, I, I think it's a good right. I used to do that. <laughs> it's a horrible thing to do. But pull the, pull the flies off wings and make them walk. And walk. Yeah. Um, Man, you like that one? I, I think we were like <laughs> brothers in former life or something. Yeah, some some sort of like bug thing. But no, I, I I love this character. I love it. Mark has come up with something that is a mixture between his father, my father, and and oh, uh, wow. the great Santini. If you okay. ever saw that no, movie, no. Um, yeah, he's young. Right. And uh, no, but it was a great. It's it's a great story about how f oppressive fathers just want the best for their sons and don't know how to. Um, and then the kids trying to vie for their father's love will do anything to get it. Mm -hmm. But what you do is you break it. And when you, when you break that, it's really hard to put it back together. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the story of Dan. Dan's in love with his sons. Mm -hmm. That's the way that I think of it. Mm -hmm. I love my sons. And now I love my grandson. Right. I have a grandson. Yeah. Grandson. Four yeah. years old. Do I look old. like I could be a grandfather? In fact, we interviewed. That would mean that I'm sleeping with grandmothers. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's creepy. That's not so bad. And some of them are, you know, MILFs, you know. Did I say that? Okay. They, no, no, um, they'd have to be GILFs. <laughs>